behavior before it's too late. And to show that Jesus as the Son of God has this power to denounce or to announce a divine reckoning that is coming, God has given him the power to demonstrate what the kingdom of God would look like if God was on the throne instead of Caesar. For instance, the poor would have good news preached to them. The blind would see, the deaf would hear, the lame would walk, the possessed would be exorcised. And the dead would be raised. All this will happen before the Son of Man comes in power and glory to set up God's kingdom here on earth. Now is the time to repent. Wait, and it might be too late. History is moving not in repeatable cycles or random meaningless events but towards a consummation of all things. That which has been separated from God because of sin is being reunited because of love. Paul is so convinced of this that he will say that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. And the writer of John will say, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Not to condemn it, but to save it. And we who are his disciples have been given a mandate between his first coming and his second coming. We are to make disciples. We are ambassadors of Jesus Christ in whom God's appeal is made real. In other words, we continue the work Jesus started in proclaiming that the kingdom of God is at hand and one day will be consummated. How long must we proclaim this message? Believe it or not, until the Son has put all enemies under his feet. Then and only then, according to Paul, will the Son turn the kingdom over to the Father that God might be all in all. As it was in the beginning, says the Gloria Patra, so shall it be in the end. In the beginning, all things were in God. So shall it be in the end. Note that this is not the Eastern religion's understanding of annihilation, when all individuality is absorbed into the oneness of the one, like a drop of blood that gets absorbed into the ocean. Instead, this diversity is preserved within the unity of the one who is three. Imagine not a drop of blood being absorbed into the ocean, but all humanity, past, present, and future, before the throne of God absorbed in praise. And the act of of worship as depicted in the book of Revelation. In conclusion, to borrow an analogy from the field of music, even though history is not doomed to repeat in an endless loop of bad rap music, you can tell I love rap music, or devolve into random notes of chords on electric guitar, car like nihilistic rock. Instead, history does have a purpose and it's moving towards a climactic end like Beethoven's Fifth or John Coltrane's Love Supreme. If we have ears to pick out the cantus firmus and the contrapuntal notes throughout the musical score. Life, as in music, builds towards something that must be resolved before it can be complete. History is the same way. We may hear the refrain and think it repeats in an endless loop, but the one who wrote the score knows different. And we might think that the discordant notes in a piece means that it's all meaningless. 
But the one who wrote the score knows different. But those who've been clued in to the score through the biblical witness knows that history is building to a climatic end when all will be resolved. Some say it's the end. Others say it's a new beginning. But the one who wrote the score knows if there is another score yet to be played. I like to think so. But this I believe. One day God will be all and all and history is moving towards that day. Will it be the day that music stopped? As the day Buddy Holly, Rick Chee Valens, and the Big Bopper died in a plane crash. And there was a song by that title, The Day the Music Died. Or will there be yet another day when it will begin anew? Time will only tell. And what will be told is still in the hands of the one who writes the score of history. Let all who have ears hear what the Spirit is saying to the church regarding history moving towards its climatic end and the need to repent. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our response is with an affirmation of faith. Uh, it's taken from the brief statement of faith. And I want you to note, please stand. I want you to know uh, regarding the good news that Jesus proclaimed as a present witness that the kingdom of God is at hand and also the Christian's belief that one day he is to return. And yet, nothing can separate us from God's love, not even the power of death.